Sorry, I'm here. Uh, good afternoon, and it's great to have the opportunity to interview you here in the center of the ring in the National Stadium in Dublin, Ireland. Uh, high performance coach, head of the Irish technical tech, uh, tactical uh, expert in the field of boxing. You have a background coming from Georgia, where you had six national championships. Uh, your ability as coach and technical advisor to the Irish team is second to none. So uh, welcome to Fighter.ie, and uh, I'm delighted with the opportunity to maybe uh, talk a little piece about uh, your background, where you're at and where you're going. So at present, as technical expert for boxing, where did this all come from in Georgia when you started out? What, where did it start for you when you realised that you love boxing? As <coughs> I was about uh, 10 years old when I started boxing myself, and uh, <coughs> I had a coach. Which, who was a very, very good coach, and I grew as a boxer. <coughs> I had six uh, uh, Georgian uh, titles, and I was as well Soviet Union country bronze medalist. And uh, then after, when I became uh, the master of boxing, 1981, and then uh, 1985, I start coaching work with my coach, back to back, and uh, that's how. It's my boxing coaching career start. And then in uh, 1988, I had already two boxers in the uh, Soviet Union team. And from that time, I start uh, work with uh, the Soviet Union team. Um, and I was uh, uh, between the, among the 10 coaches who lead sessions in that period of time until the 1991, until uh, Georgia had break out from the Soviet Union uh, <coughs> country. And then uh, I had uh, many, many good boxers. I had uh, about 12 Soviet Union, European and world medalists in my own boxers. I'm not counting what, what I had when I was team coach in Georgia. I was head coach of junior team of Georgian team. And uh, uh, 2003, when I was approaching in Ireland uh, the coaching interview, and when I sent my CV and the Irish Boxing Association accept, accepted, and uh, then I left my job in Georgia and came as a head technical tactical coach in Ireland here. Yes. Well, what's George's loss is Ireland's gain, and we've been very fortunate to have you as the technical advisor behind their boxers. Since coming over in 2003, we've excelled in Norway's amateur boxing. Uh, Katie Taylor herself has described you as a genius who has made Norway's amateur boxing uh, strong forever more than a day. Also, Andy Lee, uh, who also stated that the success of amateur boxing in Ireland is definitely attributable to what Sarah Yante has brought to Ireland. So it's great to have these high profile boxers realising what they have and how fortunate they have to have had you there. So, going forward, as we approach Rio, uh, obviously you're still working behind the scenes, uh, bringing the up and coming boxers through. Do you see any potential there for more gold medals in the Olympics for Ireland? We have uh, great boxers, yeah. Uh, we have very, very good boxers. Uh, we already <coughs> had very good boxers who left uh, uh, in professional, uh, but they become as professional boxers. But we have very good boxers, and uh, we're working hard, and uh, we have a plan, and we have our target, and uh, we are going on that path, uh, pathway, and uh, we will try maximum to achieve. Great. Well, I've no reason to doubt that you won't excel, or the Irish boxers won't excel under the guidance of yourself and Billy Walsh and the rest of the coaching staff that are top class. Uh, certainly, Russia acknowledged you as being a top class uh, coach two years ago, three years ago. The Irish, uh, the Irish Sports Federation gave you an award for your outstanding ability. And what I'd like to know is, when you see a boxer at an early stage, can you tell if a boxer is, has the natural ability or somebody that needs to be coached with the technical end of things, combine them together? How do you uh, distinguish that, or can you distinguish yeah, it? This is boxing is very difficult and a very diversity sport. There are many, many different kind of uh, fighters, you know, and uh, there are many, many talents as well. Uh, most important is hard work. Uh, of course, 
nine and many, many good talents here. Yeah? Uh, you have to find out that and you have to develop that exactly what suits him. And that's why you have to know many all type of fights, you know, there are some individual fighters which you can put in any way there. There are high tempo boxers, there are uh, counter boxers, there are heavy puncher boxers, there are volume uh, puncher boxers, so far orthodox. It's a very, very uh, you know, diversity. Uh, that's uh, that's why you have to know. Uh, I can see. You have the eye, the eye yeah. of the tiger, yeah. dare I say. I, I have noticed, I've been privileged to be down here in the stadium for Irish, uh, Irish international teams boxing. I've seen Dublin teams boxing, and I've seen you beside Katie Taylor in the World uh, Olympic Games uh, coaching. And every time that I've seen it, the consistency is the passion and the, the focus that you have at that point in time watching boxers, whether it be amateur at the lowest level or the top end of amateur, you're there with the same passion. Is that just something that's ingrained in your system now, or do you even are you aware how much that excels when when you're uh, there doing your job as coach? This is uh, happens you know, naturally. Everything you know, something when uh, I am under pressure, there's some strength comes to me, and, uh, and I'm dealing very well with this and there. With Katie, it was a big privilege for me to be beside Katie and Pete. And, uh, you know, we were a good team. You know, the very important is uh, the relationship between a boxer and coach. They should be very close and uh, trust each other and believe each other, you know. And that's what uh, happens automatically, you know. Sometimes uh, some people can say, you know, you don't uh, grow in, uh, as coach, you have to burn as coach as well. You know, something, this energy which is everybody has, something is uh, very positive, something something you have. And that's what uh, makes, you know, what you said, Andy Lee, all those uh, <coughs> boxers, John Jonev, and everybody, you know, something very quickly we find some relationship, close relationship, we have good understand each other, okay, they understand what I'm going to uh, uh, tell them, what I want from them, they, I feel what they need from me, and this mutual understand, it makes uh, everything, you know, and in the team, it's very important, you know, that's how coaching working, how they uniting for one purpose, there should be one, uh, you know, spirit. Spirit. This is, makes different, you know. I see, I, I would believe there's a spiritual side to you, and I think that is instilled into the boxers that fight there, and they fight with a spirit equally so as well. And I think the genius of yourself, long may it continue, and uh, long may Ireland benefit, which I'm sure they will show over the foreseeable future, namely the Rio, and all the other boxing that's going on around as well. We just seem to be at an infancy stage, and hopefully progressing further to a level where we will be even a bigger dominant force than we are with the help of Sarah Riantia. So at that, thank you very kindly and I uh, look forward to perhaps keeping the progress going and doing more interviews. Thank, thank you, you Sarah. Thank you.